All right, let's start by looking at the license options available. Many Media Composer veterans are familiar with Perpetual Licenses, which is a software bundle that was typically combined with a USB dongle. That dongle plugged directly into the system to verify the license. It was great for authentication and security back in the day. While Perpetual is still around, Avid is pushing most future development toward the subscription model and recently has shifted to make it more financially viable to go with the subscription. Subscriptions come in one or one year terms. You can work in any frame size, the cool toys of HDR, ACES, stereoscopic 3D, and you will receive all the new releases and standard support. An important note here, it does not support bin locking or permissions management with shared projects for multi-user workflows on shared storage. So if you've got Nexus shared storage and want the basic Avid license, then you will want to consider the Perpetual license. Perpetual will also bring you the full audio tool set, which includes 5.1 and 7.1 surround. It's going to let you use older software back to version 5.5.4, so you can change your license to sync with whatever Avid version your project is going to require, provided your hardware and OS can support it. All right. So if you go with an ultimate subscription, you get a suite of plug-in features that have become essential for most television and film production. Script Sync, which is going to sync timeline and takes to a written script. Phrase Find, making your media phonetically searchable. And then Symphony for color correction and deliverables. News Cutter for the news folks. And you'll have access to Media Composer versions back to 2018.9. It's going to give you the support for the average shared storage. Yep, that's included. This also brings you the new SRT coolness, which is going to be featured later, and gives you the option to run as a cloud VM with a slightly extra cost. And finally, there's Media Composer Enterprise. Enterprise is two things. One, it can provide the ability for a customizable UI experience of Media Composer. It gives you the ability to create custom interfaces for different roles within your team. Different view for the producer, the editor, or the assistant editor. It gives you overall control of your Media Composer licenses from a management control panel, on-prem or in the field. And secondly, it's the tool set that's going to be needed to utilize Avid Nexus Edge and no linking proxy workflows, which is expected later this year.